Eric, I would like you to say uh, Happy Thanksgiving to our viewers. Happy Thanksgiving to our viewers. Um, I was also wondering if you could say Irregardless and Nuclear. I will kill you. <laughs> the first one is a pet peeve. The, the second one, um, I guess that's kind of a pet peeve. Uh, maybe something less offensive. I was wondering, between Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2, if you had, uh, which final boss do you prefer? The hologram versus the giant robot that shoots spinny laser balls. The hologram doesn't matter, because Tupac can show up at Coachella. Obviously the giant fucking robot. You've got to go giant robot, because if you don't go giant <laughs> robot, you don't ever go back. <laughs> um, it's in the Geneva Convention. I feel the same way. The uh, The hologram is a neat, like, experimental thing. Like, what if we just had a really easy final boss? But uh, I don't think Mega Man works with experimental. I think you need to be very practical when you're designing a Mega Man game. So I, I go with the big, uh, the big machine as well. I would go with... The pink, fluffy, sheep man thing. That's what I'd go with. I think pink sheep man is white. I thought it was pink. I don't know. I'm on drugs because <laughs> I played Mega Man 3 and I used Needle Man to inject heroin into myself. <laughs> we do not advocate uh, doing any of those things. But 90s Capcom does. Yeah, that's fair. Can can we talk about the cast of robots in Mega um, Man Three? That's a that's a different video. Uh, I actually this I just wanted to record this video as a uh, to set up the first two episodes of uh, Super awesome. Fighting Robot um, Mega Man debuting today, and uh, we hope to record future episodes, but I have no idea when they will be released. If we're gonna look at Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2, like, they're completely different games. They have the same title and everything, but Mega Man 1 was a game based upon scoring and timing and not much fun. It was, it was the foundation for what the franchise would become, but all of them really differed from the first game, and the first game, though had that, though it laid down the foundation, it wasn't the greatest of Mega Man games. Tragically. Tragically. And and the, I guess back then it really wasn't too hard to get a sequel, but luckily what they did with the sequel was way better and turned into one of the best Mega Man games that there are. In my opinion. I think that's pretty much the gist of what we, uh, what we said in the first two episodes. Well then, jeez people, would you just listen to the videos and quit making up all these things? <laughs> God. I think we'll try to have like those annotation links, so you can there'll, there'll be like the pictures of the videos, and you can click on them. And when you open them, it's naked soccer players and stuff. <laughs> what the hell? What that has? <clears throat> I'm just gonna sit here and pretend none of that happened. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>